completed Angus time. The Trial of Spatula Part 2. Previously on Space Court, Armored Voice. Captain Spatula, this court finds you guilty. I, I'm, I'm innocent, Your Honor. We have uh, indecent exposure and uh, the releasing of the sex tape on the Galnet during the historical moment of a proof of extraterrestrial life. I, I know the evidence looks bad, but I am innocent. We will watch Captain Spatula's most recent log. If it proves your innocence, we shall release you. But if it does not, DEATH! <gasps> okay, we're back in session, people. This is the trial of Captain Spatula. We've been queued up your latest unreleased log. Is everyone ready to watch? All I ask of the court is that you keep an open mind. Let me just recline myself a little. That's it. Roll the video! Spatula's log. It all started with a signal from an unknown probe, which led to a little barnacle, which led to the hunt for clues and mysterious meetings, which led to the crossed alien ship, which led me here. To this mysterious unregistered satellite, parked right above a planet, emitting coded transmissions. Now those land-based sheeple below didn't care to know that right above their heads, a tiny thread was dangling to and fro, dancing in the breeze, tempting, goading you. Play with me, play with meow. But no, those cats didn't care. Let it be, dangle on. Who needs to solve mysteries when life is perfect? Just sitting here in the sun. Well, I got news for you, you dirty ground-loving pussies. You got milk? Well, solving mysteries, that's my milk. And I was gonna bat this thread around like an udder until my fur was covered in thick white cream from head to toe. Wait, stop the video! It was getting to a good part, I swear. I, I just don't get the cat references. Oh, um, well, a Galtu commenter downvoted my video due to lack of cat-related content, so I guess I kind of overcompensated. Uh, actually, you know, that's true. Cats have always made uh, videos a little bit more appealing. I like cats. Yeah, um, I, I think that means just like, you know, putting a cat in a video, though. Not like uh, talking about cats or using cat metaphors. Yeah, that, that's some good feedback. Noted. Noted. Thank you. Anyway, back to the video. It was clear to me now that somewhere out there, a large shadowy organization was planting these clues. And it all seemed to hint at some big reveal. Something that would change the galaxy forever in an instant. But is that possible? To change everything in an instant? They did it with self-heating pizza pockets, why not the entire universe? Well, lately I've been having these dreams where I can't land on planets. And in fact, no one can. Like, like we all just forgot the technology. The, maybe the engineers didn't even exist. Zachary Hudson was just a polymorphic space terminator. and There was no Eisling cosplay. And everybody complained about how missiles were inviolable and there was nothing to do. But that's silly. That was clearly just a dream. Or was it? But I'd wake up and the dreams felt so real. Like, like memories from another life. Or another time. At least I felt safe right now, nestled inside my giant anaconda. With my sexy co-pilot, Island Singleton, and my trusty AI, Nova. Do you need me? Together we were a formidable space team. The thought remained, if there was a group of mysterious people out there who had the power to change the very code of reality itself in an instant, how do you even deal with that? Like, I know that Earth guy, uh, Papa Gumby, used to say change is good. Sure, if you get some money back or put on a new shirt after five days, it's great stuff. But let's face it, sometimes change sucks. Like, if you were to change from living to dead, it's a sucky change. Or like, when your wife leaves you for your therapist, who also leaves you, that's a really sucky change. And most of the time, when shit changes, there's no going back. You have to deal with the bugs that life throws at you. But sometimes, just sometimes, a bad change can lead to a really good change. Like, here I am with my new girlfriend slash co-pilot, Island Singleton. Stop that. Tracking down my ex-wife's wedding barge. Uh, just a moment here, comms open. Hey Matilda, it's Spatula here. I, I got you and Steve a wedding present. I hope I'm not too late. Uh, two presents, actually. One for each of you. And they are on their way now. <laughs>
Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the video. What the, what the hell is this? You said you were proving her innocence. It, it will. I, it's almost there, I swear. This is a video of you tracking down and murdering an entire wedding barge full of people to kill your ex-wife. I, I like to think of it more like futuristic beat comedy myself. You're so dumb, I hate you. I don't know how the rest of the video is somehow going to absolve you of all your crimes. Well, you have to keep watching to find out. Okay, okay, okay. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I will allow the rest of the video to play. Yeah, just let it play, man. You're breaking the rhythm. Thank you. Someone who understands. Roll the last bit in part three. No, no, I'm just kidding. Do it now. After murdering Matilda, I thought I'd feel great, but it was quite the opposite. I felt a great sense of regret for making her death so short and painless. I should have knocked out the life support. That way she could have thought longer about how much of a bitch she is. And while wrapped in these dark, bitter thoughts, something changed inside of me. I suddenly realized that murder was not the answer to all of life's problems, and that only serving your self-interest would leave you feeling hollow. And I also realized I was about to crash. <laughs> and the entire galaxy had changed in a single moment. My Corvette was gone, my bank account reversed, and worst of all, my, my girlfriend Aylin was gone. Not even a trace of things in her locker like she had never existed. At first I thought maybe she'd left over the guilt of helping me kill my ex-wife's entire family, but then I started noticing all the other little things that had changed, like the universe had been reset, almost as if when I returned from the No Man's Sky universe, I had landed in an alternate timeline, a B timeline. We'll use the Greek letter beta. And everything I had been doing up until this point had been in this beta timeline. And somehow recently, the mysterious people behind the breadcrumbs did something to merge the two realities, ending the beta. And that meant everything I had done had been undone. And it also meant that Island Singleton was somewhere out there in the galaxy. Only in this timeline, we haven't met yet. Which means... I've got a second chance. Unbelievable! So you see, Your Honor, all those horrible crimes I committed were in an alternate timeline that doesn't even exist anymore. Shit, that's a, that's a really good defense. Wait, it says in the evidence that your ex-wife and her entire family was murdered just yesterday. Yeah, well, after the beta ended, I tracked her down again and murdered her proper, nice and slow. Wait, what? You idiot? You just admitted to guilt. Why would you make us watch your stupid video if you're just gonna admit that in the end? Oh, I was just stalling for time. Why would you be? No, but now. Yes, murder isn't always the answer, but sometimes it is. At least in space it is because space is dangus and if you want to survive well you have to have a little dangus in you too it's up to you whether you want to interpret that as a penis joke <laughs>